Known as one of the world's best safari destinations, Kenya offers a scenic landscape with 50 epic national parks and reserves that are home to diverse wildlife. With a population of 54 million, more than 60 languages are spoken in Kenya. Kisi is about 300 kilometers west of the capital of Nairobi and is home to the country's first Adventist school, the Mawara Adventist School for the Deaf. This school was started by a man who became an Adventist in 2012. It was difficult for him to run the school on his own, so he gave it to the local Adventist leadership. The leaders accepted the school with a vision for the future. We want to have a modern school for the deaf, which, is, uh, which will be a model school for the entire division, because we want to make a facility which is uh, modern, which is good, which anyone will want to bring their child. With this vision, church leaders took serious action to offer quality Christian education to the deaf population. Then the conference gathered some money, resources, and they started to put up structures, classrooms for them. They put up the first two classrooms, then later they added two more, they, were, they became six, with an office and a staff room. The two classrooms were turned into a dormitory where the learners started to live from. So they are staying in two classrooms, one for the female and the other one for the male. Currently, the school has 64 students. Some are rejected by their family and hidden in their homes. Some people believe deaf children are cursed and bring shame to their families. We, fetch, we source them from the house, we bring them to the school, we pay for their meals, we give them a uniform, and they stay with our other, other learners in the school. These students often come from poor backgrounds. Some of them are HIV AIDS positive. The school is the safest place for them. It's a place where they can develop a relationship with God. The institution is run by the Adventist Church. They have a supper school, they have a divine service, they have an afternoon program. They have midweek prayers, they have Friday Vespers. So it is organized in such a way that the learners are nurtured spiritually by the teachers. We thank you because we are being taught very well. Our teachers teach us very good. They help us to know about Jesus and to learn about the Bible. Every school has its challenges. For this school, the challenge is to complete the construction of a new dormitory that was halted due to funding. In school here, recently we have no dorm, but dorm in school under construction. Presently, the dome is soon about to be finished. They currently use one of the classrooms as one for girl child, another for the boy child, to accommodate them for the sleep for the night. But the room is too small. So we have made, 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 tried, tried to make much effort to make our dormitory complete so that we can move the beds to our large space dormitory. It can be difficult to operate a school, but even in the midst of difficulty, there is always a reason to praise the Lord. The Lord has been with us. If not the Lord, we are not able to pay teachers. We are not able to provide for the learners. We are not able to provide for our schools to continue building the same, same way. So the Lord had just really shown. The Lord has shown his able hands. Part of your 13 Sabbath offerings this quarter will help finish their dormitory and build a multi-purpose hall so students can have a safe place to study. Thank you for supporting Mission Overing for this school.